businesses will be willing to help pay construction costs for Crossrail 2, currently estimated to cost £31 billion, according to Transport for London TfL Commissioner Mike Brown. Speaking at the London Infrastructure Summit on Thursday, 14 September, Brown admitted securing 50% of funding during construction, a requirement set by Transport Secretary Chris Grayling when he backed the scheme in July, would be challenging but talks were ongoing. All I would say is, I think in the same way businesses responded so fantastically to the funding challenge for Crossrail 1, businesses no doubt will be willing to pay their share for Crossrail 2. Individual business contributed to Crossrail 1, as well as collections through the Crossrail Business Rate Supplement BRS. Funding came from the City of London Corporation, Heathrow Airport Holdings, P. Canary Wharf Group and Berkeley Homes agreed to construct a station box for a station at Woolwich. Last week 12 September TfL announced that Mott MacDonald and Arup have won a £3 million cost-cutting contract on the project. Brown added that advances in technology and construction techniques since Crossrail 1 began mean there will be significant changes in delivery for Crossrail 2. Technology has moved on, so things like off-site construction of station boxes and station fabric and fittings is much more commonplace now than it was when Crossrail 1 was considered, and that takes costs down significantly, he said. However, he dismissed reports of a backlash from Northern Powers over government support for Crossrail 2. This is about national infrastructure. I am as determined that we build proper links and proper transport connections between the great cities of the north and make those cities a success as him about Crossrail 2, he said. I think the trick is how we can work much more closely together as London and the other great cities of the country, rather than appearing to respond to this rather lazy, tabloid-style journalism where it is about the north versus the south which in my experience actually is nonsense.